the show and welcome to a part of New South Wales where I've spent very little time, the beautiful hamlet of Murrum Bateman. Now all my friends in Canberra would know this place because it's like the Hunter Valley of Canberra which means great food, great wine and great accommodation. So come and join me in the Subi on a journey down a road less travelled. Don't go away. Weekend with a difference, take the road less travelled, the Barton Highway from Yas to Canberra, and pull in at the beautiful little town of Murrum Bateman. In a couple of weeks, the sleepy little hamlet of Murrum Bateman will spring into life on the long weekend in October because the moving feast is on. It's organised by the local wineries and some of the restaurants. And for us food and wineries, let me tell you, it is a gastronomical delight. Isn't that right, Dylan? Give you a pull. There you go. In its third year, the Moving Feast is the event on the local calendar. And now's the time to plan your trip. Murrum Bateman is a very interesting little village and locally they have some very interesting accommodation. I've pulled into this place, Shonek Country Guest House. And I've got to tell you, it is very, very, very nice. It's got six rooms, all beautifully appointed. And I want to say, if you're overdue for that weekend away, particularly mum and dad, and you know that weekend I'm talking about away from the kids, away from the pets, away from everything, this is the place to be. Because Shonek is designed just for the two of you. King size beds, spa baths and privacy will rekindle that old flame. But come the October long weekend, the moving feast is moving in and Shernick's owners, Richard and Evelyn Everson, will be showcasing the huge range of produce from all around the area. And they should know a thing or two about good food and wine. Richard, I understand that you've won a Michelin, a Michelin award, which, does that mean that you're good at cooking tyres or...? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a whiz with tyres, <laughs> but it actually means that I've worked in a restaurant that had a Michelin star in Geneva. Uh-huh. And what's the equivalent of that in Australia? We That'd be probably two chef's hats. Oh, OK. <laughs> where did you actually work in Europe? You worked in a number of places. Well, we started off in London, and that's where I met my lovely wife. And then uh, we followed each other around the world. I worked on the QE2 for a year and a half. Now, you, you, you said you met Evelyn there. She looks after the pastries, doesn't she, and the bread. And me. And you. That's right. Yeah. But I've got a really sweet tooth, so I'd have to say that probably Evelyn's my favourite. Yeah, well, that's OK. I'm, I'm... But you <laughs> go, she's my favourite too. <laughs> Even if you're not staying here, you can drop into the cafe any weekend and sample some of Evelyn's homemade bread, sweets and pastries. And for someone like me, that is an absolute nightmare because I have the sweetest tooth on the planet. But Richard, you also do a la carte? That's right. 12 to 4, weekends, public holidays. We're here, full menu, entree mains to do. And I know that you use uh, fresh produce, local fresh produce. Absolutely. Where you can. Anything we can get our hands on. I'll tell you what I think is stunning about this place, some of the artwork and the sculptures that you've got around here, particularly the big one out there in the middle of the paddock, that metal sculpture is crazy. That's not bad, is it? That's yeah. from local artist Michael Legrand. Um, you can take that home with you if you like, Mike. I'll need a semi-trailer to get that oh, one back. I'll be happy to give you a hand getting that on the back of the truck. And all those paintings and all the stuff is for sale? Absolutely, all local artists and all for sale. One more question. You haven't got a crowbar, have you? What do you want a crowbar for? You're going to need one to get me out the place. I'm moving in. There for good. Go. <laughs> That's good news. Live in for the weekend at Country House Shernick in Murrum Bateman, not far from Canberra. Rooms start from $160 per couple per night, including a glass of wine, canapes and brekkie. Call them on 6227 0344. What a fantastic show, one out of the box. If there's anything you need to know about what's been on tonight's show, check out the WITS website at visitnsw.com. Ford Moving Feast, Sydney weekend. The Murrum Bateman Moving Feast is on the October long weekend. Do yourself a favour and get down here. It will be fantastic. I've showed you where to stay. Shernick, thank you very much to Evelyn and Richard for giving me fantastic food and wine, a wonderful bed to sleep in. Absolutely fantastic host, so thank you very much. Our pleasure, thank you. All of the wineries around this area are also going to be involved in the Moving Feast. I've come to visit 
is an old mate of mine, Ken Helm. Believe it or not, we shot a story here 10 years ago and we haven't changed a bit, mate. You're not wrong. Life's been very good. The years have been kind. Now, what are you doing during the moving feast? Well, what we're doing is, is we're matching desserts and wines together. So you'll come to Helm for your just desserts. <laughs> There you go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the show. The Murrum Bateman Moving Feast long weekend in October is going to be fantastic. And as they say at Schoenek, Frost. Frost. Frost.